63 riders are bound to battle for the last stage of Le Tour de Filipinas. 13 from these are young riders and another 13 are Filipino cyclists. International squads including half-Filipino Christopher Williams of Team Novo Nordisk are positive to maneuver today's game plans. For today for me is just survive. So uh, it's uh, a bit too hilly for me today and I was in a breakaway yesterday so I'm a bit tired. Yes, no, my mom's Filipino. She's from uh, Cebu. Today's задача, задача, конечно, удержать желтую майку лидера и по возможности, конечно, сохранить все, что у нас есть на сегодняшний день. Three, The 17-man breakaway pack has separated from the peloton along Tabaco City, surging at 42 kilometers per hour. Foreign and local contingents will race around the majestic Mayon volcano twice, covering a 160.20 kilometer loop. Rostom Lim from the Philippines has just passed the finish of the second King of the Mountain Zone with a kilometer advantage from the breakaway group. Stage 4 comprises two sprints and two King of the Mountain zones. Bino Forever SKO got the jerseys for best climbers on the first three stages of the tour. Their team also bested all other cyclists for best sprinter jersey on stages 1 and 2. However, Keenan Cycling Team snatched the green jersey on the third circuit. Kalmagai topped the first KOM zone, but our very own Rustam Lim led the contingents as they traversed the second loop of the KOM zone. While Marcelo Felipe and Jai Crawford topped the sprint zones respectively, racing the planes and beating the odds.
Placing first is Timothy Guy who checked in at the finish line in 3 hours, 52 minutes and 50 seconds. Claiming the second place is Cameron Bailey followed by Jay Jung Sung at third spot.